Hello, I'm Pastor Horace Doughty, bringing you a nature lesson each week. And if you enjoy this presentation or these, then I urge you, encourage you to sign up for my Horace Doughty YouTube nature lessons. Uh, the way you do it is to click on like and then click on subscribe and then click the bell for notification. And that will help me keep these programs going. Today I want to talk up to you about conversations with wildlife. There are any number of calls which I will demonstrate and then show you how to do it without the calls. An owl, a hoot owl, or a screech owl, a smaller owl. or even a dove that can make that sound. Then the, the louder call is a goose call. And then, of course, the duck call, which is very common. And then turkey call. And what I'm telling you is if you make these sounds, wildlife will come and talk to you. That's a small, a young turkey. And then you have a squirrel call. And then if you want to make an additional part of the conversation with the squirrel. Then of course, crows will come very loudly and quickly to you if you if you use their language <laughs> then little birds will respond to this i don't know whether you can hear that or not but uh, that was a sound then this is another sound that birds make And there's another call that uh, that bird makes that I, I don't seem to have it here with me, but it's very common. That is the call of a young deer, uh, usually in search of its mother. It's very much like the call of a, a young uh, young calf. But what? you need to know is that if you go and sit down in any forest beside a big tree, you have built in several calls. Your voice, of course, will call turkeys and crows and ducks and geese, but you can call little songbirds, and, and this is what you do. You, you draw air through your compressed lips, and here's what it sounds like. And you'll be amazed at how many little songbirds will be coming and come so close that you can reach out and touch them if you sit still. That is your nature lesson for today, how to talk to wildlife.